Hey, my Nikki Boos. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the crew of Nikki Boos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. Turn on that notification bell, guys. Make sure it's set to all so that you'll be notified every time I upload. Where are you glide. finna throw it? Hurry up before we start moving. The joint finna glide. Hold on. Where are you throwing it? I don't think it's glide out. I don't even see it. I'm not gonna even notice that it fell right behind you. A place like you do. I'm scared. You scared. You gonna get on it? No. Why? I'm Tell us. Jesus. Girl, you all the way off of it though. Like, time's been moving slowly, so we are ready. happy 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 this morning i had a very quiet woosa type of morning so that's why i was not speaking but i did let y'all see what i was doing because yeah i just need it sometimes i be like that y'all i just want quiet just peace quiet don't want nobody talking okay just leave me alone don't want to be on the phone and i got up this morning i was up the first one up and so yeah i was just doing my thing by myself in the complete quiet and definitely enjoying that peace of mind but i have some errands to run me and the girls definitely gotta go today to find shoes i gotta run up to the kids school because y'all know school is starting back everybody kids going to school and stuff so i gotta do that uh what else do i have to do today I'm definitely trying to find me something cute for my birthday to wear. Have no idea where I'm going. I just know I want to be cute. And it's so crazy how life have you just on um, go, 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 go. And you just forget about other things that's important. Like I'm wearing braids and my birthday is coming up. I'm still going to be in braids when my birthday come up. Okay. So it is what it is okay and that's just that on this i'm still gonna get fly girl okay i just don't know what i'm wearing i just don't know uh, i'm i'm probably forcing myself because i'm so focused on the wedding like that's priority for me right now but anyway that's that on that well i don't know how i forget to tell y'all oh excuse me i'm eating some bacon egg bites yeah i bought them cold and basically toasted them myself don't judge me judge that spit you out okay don't judge me anyway i forgot to tell y'all today i also have a doctor's appointment yay y'all know i was having all kind of problems no doctor first no insurance no doctor no it was a lot but we're here 
we're here. We're taking we're taking care of ourselves. Remember, we are doing great things and doing better for ourselves. And yeah, so blood pressure. Oh, that's another thing. I got a blood pressure cup. Thanks to Auntie Auntie One playing that. Okay, she was like, "Girl, you need to be checking that blood pressure." I'm like, "They don't make the cups for fit me." What? Well, well, she was like, "Get the wrist kind." Hold on, y'all look a little dusty. But anyway, got the blood pressure cup, cuff cup, whatever you call it. And yeah, my blood pressure was up this morning. As soon as I woke up, I had a slight headache. And I'm like, I know I took my pill yesterday. Like, so I took it, and once I took it, it came down. So that's a little weird. I'm not really quite understanding that because it's not like I skipped yesterday. Unless I skipped yesterday. But no, I don't think I skipped yesterday. But yeah, so we are following up from the emergency room visit because y'all saw me in the emergency room. So I'm going today to follow up to, you know, just make sure everything is okay, give me more medication or whatever. And that's another thing that has to be done today. And yeah, I'm gonna take y'all with me because why not? Probably, oop, I'm probably gonna take y'all, take my phone because you know, they be tripping about these cameras. But yeah, we're gonna be doing all that today. And of course, I got y'all with me. Okay, so. Black me down. This is the first time that it's only been me in here. It's actually been kind of crowded, but y'all, I just got real annoyed. My people need to get it together, but I'm gonna tell y'all about that in the car, cause baby, girl. Next time I see something, I'm gonna get some footage, okay? For y'all, for real. Look at the good news. Look at that, y'all. See? Take care of yourself. Take your meds. And you'll be alright. Y'all know I'm happy about those numbers. I'm happy about those numbers. That's what I needed those numbers to be. You know? So. Yeah, so far so good. Still sitting here filling up this book they gave me <sighs> so i'll let y'all know what the doctors say if i could stash the phone that'll be great but probably not because they got me here on the little bed and then she gonna be sitting right there so probably not but that's okay we gonna talk because i need to finish filling these out, but we gonna talk as soon as I get to the car, tell y'all what was going on in that waiting room, honey. I ended up being in the doctor's office way too long, y'all, so, uh, I had to get the baby girl. Look who's with me now, hi. I got Coco and Minnie with me. So yeah, my the the little girl, the little girl, the little gal. <laughs> she was with Greg and Greg had to go to work. And I'm just like, oh my god. So we had to meet up, trade off. Somebody like myself don't have their seatbelt on. Ooh, Coco, I don't have my seatbelt on. That's not good. But uh yeah, so y'all, I was gonna tell y'all about this kid. <sighs> Something told me to take out my phone and record. Uh uh, I can't take this noise. Hold on. Y'all, this is so crazy. I was about to tell y'all about this little boy at the, so I'm at home now because I got to get Coco hair done and get a, a few other things done before Jazz get off work. But, let me tell you, I get home and it's the same thing. This little bitty, itty tiny kid looks to be about three or four years old is running down the parking lot, like running in the streets. Where are the parents? Where are the parents? Like, 
people, when the kids come up and sing, they want to boo-hoo cry. And, ooh, my child, and somebody did this. Honey, you wasn't watching your child. I mean, as a parent, it is your job to protect your children. How are you protecting your children if you just got them running, just running the, running around by themselves? No supervision. Anyway, this little boy was standing in the door with his hand smashed in the door. There was this elderly white lady next to the right of me. Then it's me. The whole time, it's the mama, and I guess it's the brother or her boyfriend, whoever this is with her, on the left side of me, just sitting there. And this boy is screaming. And the lady to the right of me was like, his hand, his hand, his hand, his hand. She scared me. So I'm looking like, what's she talking about? And I see the little boy screaming. And I'm like, his hand, his hand. Where is the parents? Yes, I did. I sure did. And then the parents spoke up. And she had the audacity to say, now keep in mind, this woman had on shorts that looked like they was a pair of grandma panties. And what I mean by grandma panties, y'all know how it, it's full coverage. It's covering all the cheeks. But yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. That's how her shorts looked. And they were that material. Yeah, not jeans, not, yeah, that material. 100% cotton <laughs> or, or some cotton and some nylon and some spandex or something. I don't know. But, and she appeared to be an older woman. Like, <sighs> so she speaks up, y'all. And what she said to me was, he's fine. He's fine. He's doing that on purpose. He's sitting here with his hand smashed in the door on purpose. He's sitting there screaming with his hand smashed in the door on purpose. And guess what? Even if he was doing that to get attention, because she was like, you just wanted some attention, didn't you? Because she still never got up. It was another black lady who went over there who was closer to the little boy where he was at who opened the door for him to help him out. And so he ran over there to his mammy. She ain't no mama. His mammy. And she gonna say, you was doing that on purpose when you just want some attention. She was like, I told you, girl, he fine. He just wants some attention. But guess what? Even if he was just doing that for attention, baby, you in public, you might want to pretend like you give a F. You might want to at least not come off the way you did. Black people, we got to do better. And on top of black people, we got to do better. Parents. We have to do better. We have to do better. Y'all can't just have y'all kids just out here like that. When, if you, if you a horrible parent, check yourself, okay? Don't beat yourself up. Maybe somebody never told you. But if you're not outside with your children, then your children need a house, okay? And a backyard that's fenced in. Okay, if you don't want to come outside with your kids, then you should not live in an apartment. I don't care if it's a playground. You shouldn't live in an apartment because your eyes should always be on your children. And if you can't afford to have a house where you can sit and watch your kids in their own privacy or their own backyard, then baby, you got to go outside with your kids when they go outside. I know somebody in the comments probably gonna tell me to man my business. But you know what? Nikki love the kids. And I'm gonna advocate for the kids. At all times. So. If it's the kid, it's my business. But anyway. I'm about to get to Coco Hair. Everything went well at the doctor's office. As y'all can see, my blood pressure was on point. So happy about it. Um, but I'm about to get get Coco hair done. And then um, I got to refresh her curls because they looking kind of crazy right now. So I don't know what I'm finna do. But I'm finna do something to her hair. And then we're going to pick Jazz up. And then I don't know if we're going to the mall or 
what, but we gotta go find shoes. So I'll see y'all then. Okay, y'all, we at the mall. We don't know what store to go in up in here. We just, first we gonna, yes. I want no pink shoes. You want pink shoes? Okay, girl. Coco want pink shoes. I doubt they gonna be pink. <laughs> Cause the wedding is purple, but we gonna first go to Aldo's and then Zara is next door to them. We're gonna check out those two places. Let's see what we can find. Oh, they got some cute shoes though. Say it ain't so. Sure is, girl. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Girl, it's the little cute bag for me. Jazz, you like these? No. Oh, those are cute. That's a dark purple. Doesn't matter. Oh, those are cute too. I'll have to try those on because we're going to give an old lady. This is like giving old lady. Those cute. They clear. Let me tell. Um, yeah, he's trying on anything. Who's that? What happened? Aldo is a tad bit expensive. Next up is Zara. Come on. We gotta go find the shoe store. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Coco, this might be something cute for you. This might be cute for Coco Lady. I don't know what size. Let me see. here so sitting down about to enjoy some subway courtesy of jazz and she ain't say her grace you say your grace <laughs> she's so hungry that she ain't even say her grace look at you said your grace <laughs> Coco, like I said, by grace. Yeah, we ain't had no luck in here. I swear, I've been gone from Chicago long enough to know better. I should know where to shop for certain things, and I just don't. I, when I'm not in Chicago, I'm out of my element. And I don't know where I should be shopping at. But anyway, it just is what it is. So we are not done. We're gonna have to get back on the hunt somewhere else. We don't have napkins. Somewhere else, real soon. Where? I don't know. I'm gonna have to start calling around and asking around. 